All right, so the next matchup we're going to take a look at is BYU and Duquesne. BYU, fifth in the Big 12 on the year, sitting at 23-10, and 10, uh, facing the 11th seed Duquesne. All right, let's look at BYU's schedule a little bit here. All right, pretty impressive resume, actually, for the first year in the Big 12 for BYU. Uh, I'm pretty high on this team, actually. They've got a win over San Diego State. We know what San Diego State is capable of. That's a good win there. Uh, win over NC State. That's a tournament win now. You've got a close loss to Utah. Utah was kind of on that cut line bubble, so that's not the best loss, but it's also not the worst loss at the same time. Uh, let's see. You've got a loss to Cincinnati. That's not a very good loss, but similar to Utah, probably even more so than Utah. Cincinnati was a lot closer to the bubble than most teams. I've got a loss to Baylor. We know the Big 12 is kind of a gauntlet here. Uh, let's see. Lost to Texas Tech and Houston. Those aren't bad losses. You've got a win over Iowa State. We know – whoops, my bad – we know that Iowa State is a really good basketball team now. All right, just won the Big 12. Didn't know that at the time, but they are. I went over Texas. That's a tournament win. And yeah, I lost to Oklahoma, which I, also I don't know how Oklahoma didn't make the tournament. They didn't lose a non-quad one game. So Oklahoma didn't lose any bad games. I don't know how they didn't make the tournament. But anyways, this, would be, this is about BYU. All right, went over Kansas State, similar to Cincinnati, right on that bubble line. This is probably the worst loss right here to Oklahoma State by 10. Uh, but you do have a win over Baylor. We talked about earlier, win over Iowa State. You've got a win over Kansas. You've got a win over Texas. So BYU can definitely beat some teams. And they lost to Tech in the Big 12 tournament. Let's look at Duquesne. All right, Duquesne really went on a good run here at the end. 24-11, and 11, sixth in the A-10, but they go on a run, win the A-10 tournament. Let's look at them a little bit. All right, so they have a win over Charleston. That is a tournament win. That's a pretty good win, I think. You've got a close loss to Princeton. Princeton was actually really good this year. I know they didn't make the tournament, but that's a that's an okay loss. Uh, let's see, 10-point loss to Nebraska. Nebraska is in the tournament. That's an okay loss there. Went over St. Peter's. That's a tournament team. Went over Bradley. Bradley actually had a really good year. Close loss to Saint Santa Clara. Santa Clara also, similar to Bradley, had kind of a pretty good year, but still won't obviously beat those teams. But I'm saying this team can beat some teams, though. All right, as far as looking at the A-10, the only team that made it out of the A-10 besides them is Dayton. Uh, they lost to Dayton twice, but they did most importantly beat them when it mattered towards the end All right, in the tournament. They dipped Dayton. So they get the win over Dayton at the end, 65-57. All right, like I said, that is kind of the tournament team out of the A-10, so that's the one good win you can look for. Now, BCU is a solid one as well, as is like Loyola, Chicago, and Richmond. Uh, but it looks like they lost to Loyola and Richmond, actually. So had the potential to be a good win, but it wasn't. Uh, but Dayton and BCU were solid wins. Then at the beginning of the year, like I said, you've got a win over Charleston and St. Peter's, which are tournament teams. But this game, Duquesne benefited, I think, from a weaker A-10. As for BYU, they have wins over all the teams I listed, Iowa State, Baylor, Kansas, Texas, BYU is a legitimate Final Four threat, I think. This team can make a run. Uh, I think BYU is going to be a little too much for Duquesne. I think they're probably going to be out of juice now uh, after making that run of the tournament. I think BYU wins this one by double digits and probably does whatever they want to Duquesne. I hope I'm wrong, uh, but I think this game's too much for Duquesne, and I think ultimately BYU gets the win by double digits. But who do you think wins this game? Let me know down in the comment section and why. Also, looking at this little ticker down here, I, I am hosting a tournament bracket group on ESPN Tournament Challenge. All you got to do to win, qualify to win. All right, it's one entry per user. Go to the community tab on my channel. You'll find the link there. Click the link. It'll take you to it. Fill out your bracket and submit it. One entry per user, like I said. All you got to do is be a subscriber. And if you get first place, the winner gets a free AG t-shirt. So, again, to qualify for winning, all you got to do is be a subscriber. Then at the end of it, I'll post so-and-so one, and then you just claim your prize. Pretty easy. But let me know who you think wins this game again down in the comment section. Make sure to like this video. Most importantly, subscribe.